We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? The Facebooking and the tweeting and the Instagramming, all that would not exist without our understanding of science. So it's amazing that you do that as an insult. If you mean true for you, it's different from true for anybody else. Have yeah, to absolutely, to because, because I can't think either got to be true or no. I can't, no, no. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and citizens of Netlandia, whatever you happen to identify as. Welcome to a really Radio 131, recorded Friday, November 4th, 2016, where we dismantle the current events for your edutainment through mostly rational conversations that make you go, oh, really. I'm your host, Andy Cowan, and I have my usual suspects. I've got David O'Connor, I've got Stephen Griffith, and I've got Amber B. Sicker. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. And, um... Let's see. Um, first and foremost, uh, audience feedback. There was a little bit from from last week. Just a little, uh, a little go back and forth with uh, some of the science. Uh, so please keep that coming. I mean, it's not really anything that that I have any corrections for, but it's a good conversation. So if you have any comments and, and things like that, you know, hit us up. You know, we'll, we'll we'll talk with you. It's a fun thing for us to do. Otherwise, we wouldn't bother doing this. So keep those coming. Um, and secondly, uh, I kind of goofed on um, scheduling out the last three shows, so uh, they just went out just now. They were already in the can, and they were out uh, for the for the Patreon members, uh, and they were also out on the YouTube if you were looking, but they didn't quite make it posted. So they're out there uh, in your streams now. So hopefully, if you're happening to listen to this, we're not going to step on anything there. But let's just say that there are some juicy parts, and you should definitely listen. I'll say that. Uh, let's see. So audience feedback, as I was saying, if we do make mistakes, which I obviously do, please go ahead. If you find one, pause the podcast or, or the stream. Well, no. Don't, don't pause it in the stream. If you're watching in the stream, just tell us and we'll fix it. But, you know, if you're watching after the fact, then send us a note at oreallyradiopodcast at gmail.com or phone it in at 470-222-6759. And thanks, Mama Van. Thanks for being in, in the chat room and calling me a slackass. I, <laughs> I appreciate that ever so much. See, you can be here and you can correct me right now. <laughs> So, and you can do that directly from our website every Friday, oreallyradio.com. We'll have the uh, the Twitch stream and the chat right there, or you can go out to the Twitch channel and uh, do subscribe so you know when we go live, because sometimes I do things off schedule. So, all righty. Well, um, my gosh, we're, we're coming up here on the election. And, it's the uh, last show before the election. This is the last show before Ooh. the election. Um, I'm... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I mean, I mean, we're gonna have a twenty sixteen. We're, we're gonna have a recount anyway. I mean, come on, because that's just something that Trump's well, going to do as he, you know, denies anything. Because remember, yeah. if he's winning, he's winning. If he's losing, it's rigged. Right. 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 I had um I had seen a post from um, Hillary Clinton's campaign earlier on Facebook talking about how the early voting polls, and I mean, obviously, this isn't. Um, you know, real concrete uh, information here, but um, considering it is early early voting, mm -hmm. she said that the uh, the polls in Florida, Ohio, and a couple other states that uh, are integral to the election are all swaying toward Trump. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying. But, but yeah, um, she can lose Florida and uh, a couple of those. There's a couple swing states. I was reading a different article that she could lose and still easily get to 270 electoral votes. Oh, she still has a good firm path to, to victory. Oh, yeah. um, that ends. But Florida is not at all a surprise that it's swinging towards Trump. Also, remember, this is still also early yeah. voting. And unlike, yeah, exactly. unlike Republicans, most Democrats that I've seen like to vote day of. Mm -hmm. And we're also not counting anything that was mailed in. This is actual at poll early voting. Actually, I think some of the mailed in stuff has been counted already, but I, I'm not positive on that. Hmm. And that may be a state by state thing when they actually start going through those. Um, you know, early polling, they will you know do like a daily tally. I don't know if they do a daily tally for uh, for mail ins. Uh, if you know, then you should definitely email us. Let us know about that, um, or send us a text message at four seven zero. Two 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 six seven five nine. 
Also, uh, before we before we proceed with that, the Cubs won. <laughs> yeah, that's um, <laughs> which that's a thing that happened. I didn't think I'd say it in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm not a sports. I'm not a sports aficionado. I'm not a sports guy. I don't follow the sports ball, but uh, this is one of those things where I'm going to have to watch that game again. You know, just I, because I I need those I need those orange pie wedges in Trivial Pursuit anyway. So <laughs> I I might as well. But but this is really uh, one of those groundbreaking things. Yeah, you know, I was listening to because of my job. I was listening to essentially live updates of the game from people calling, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. Not I said, okay, it's nice, cool. Get home, like, okay, get a nice plate of fried chicken. Sit down for my computer, go, let me take a look at the score, see if they've won. Oh, game's still going on. All right, let me go see if I can find a live stream. Found a live stream, it was the bottom of the 10th, and I couldn't eat my chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I don't follow baseball. I don't follow that kind of stuff. I was like, I, I literally can't look away, even for a minute, to look down at the plate of chicken to eat it. <laughs> I, I was just stuck and glued to the screen as I watched this thing happen, and I unabashedly I cheered raucously <laughs> when that final out came in. So good on yeah. you, Cubs, for finally winning after 108 years. Good news. I think the Ottoman Empire is finally gone now. <laughs> yes, that, that, the Ottoman Empire did still exist the last time the Cubs won. Um, <clears throat> that's that's and we only had 46 yeah. states. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the statistics of, you know, time <laughs> dilation, it's really weird. Things that happen concurrently. Uh, it, it just kind of makes you, makes you wobble a little bit. But uh, apparently, uh, you know, Back to the Future predicted this. Well, mm -hmm. Back to the Future itself actually had Didn't they? come over with me about this. No, they predicted it for 2015 because that was the year he went to. Uh, but that's the funny thing. Back to the Future did not, pre did not predict the one-year baseball strike, which threw off the timeline. And pushed everything uh, forward a year. If it hadn't been for the one-year baseball strike they had, it would have been 2015. I think we could probably give it to them. Uh, but, you know, <clears throat> hopefully <clears throat> that's the only thing they really got right. Because otherwise a, a Biff Tannen, you know, universe with, you know, in his Trumpian way. Because they did model Biff Tannen completely after Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. um, you know, they, they said it themselves after the fact that they did. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hopefully none of that's correct. Hopefully. But I want hover cars and, you know, weather control satellites. Yeah, but they totally got those wrong. <laughs> I mean, come on. No, they're just, again, too much futurism. We're getting there. Yeah. Very slow. Yeah, well, we definitely don't have our, our hover conversions done. So we, We'd okay. have it if Moeller wasn't such a freaking scam. Hmm? You guys know what I'm talking about? The Mueller air nope. car? No. Really? No. I think I do, but... Mueller well, Sky, there's, there's Sky Car. M-O-L-L-E-R. There's a lot the of Sky Cars. The dude's been around for probably... I want to say I first heard about him... I was in junior high. So close to 20 years ago. Yes, those things. Yes, I do remember them. Yeah. Um, he's been developing this thing for. Ever and it just never has come out and just can't get it off the ground, can he? I was just about to say that. Damn oh no, it. he's got flying models. <laughs> he, yeah, he's got two flying perfect. models. He's developed an engine, which is really two engines in one. In case of engine failure, it just seamlessly switches over. Interesting. Yeah. Well, so it's it, essentially a so quadruple. Quadcopter. Yeah, but so you think he's just being an asshole about it, or he's been like sued by investors for um, essentially producing vaporware? <laughs> oh, well. Now, if only they could do that with the game industry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, also uh, today is also the twenty eighth anniversary of uh, the release of They Live. Which is uh, another movie that has frightening parallels. So, if you're looking for yeah. something to watch this weekend, I, I recommend going down to your blockbuster and getting a VHS of that for you. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, speaking of the elections and and the way that uh, that Trump is posturing, and that everybody yeah. seems to be posturing, uh, Raw Story had a had an article out. Arkansas Republicans stood in polling place door shouting 
to shut up and go home to the early voters. Sweet. I've been hearing a lot about this kind of voter obstruction. Yeah, I mean, North Carolina is another one um, that the uh, federal has accused them of Jim Crow style voter suppression. I almost added that. I almost added that story. <laughs> is that not insane? I'll add the link now. It's, um, it's ridiculous. Uh, the, the candidates shouldn't you know, really be able to yeah. stand on their own merit. Well, I mean, uh, just in North Carolina, what happened was they purged almost um, 6,700 voters, most of them black Democrats from the mm -hmm. rolls, under a state law that permitted any person to revoke any other person's voting rights. E. Yeah, welcome to North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, well, North Carolina Again, has definitely gone downhill. Part of the weird, funny, hilarious thing about that is, going back to an earlier thing that happened, you know, the whole, you know, was it, not Title IV, Article Four of the Voting Rights Act? Mm. Uh, what, uh, and that being shot down? Well, now I have to look it up. Vo Voting Rights Act. There it is. Article IV, Voting Rights Act. Session for Department of Justice, uh... When it was killed, you mean? Struck down by the Supreme Court? Because it was mainly the thing is the, okay, we've done this for so long, it's all good, don't worry, and I have this problem of voter suppression because of these <laughs> things, they've learned their lesson, everything's good. Yeah. It was in uh, June of 2013, <clears throat> the Supreme Court struck down Section 4 of the Voting Rights Act, uh, the provision of the landmark civil rights uh, law designate which parts of the country must have changes to their voting rights laws uh, cleared by the federal government or in federal court. The five to four ruling, five to four rulings are, oh, look, it's conservative justices versus the liberal yep. justices. Yeah. Uh, Weird. And, oh, yeah, amazing. <laughs> Authored by Chief Justice John Roberts and joined by Justices Antonin Scalia, Anthony Kennedy, Clarence Thomas, and Samuel Alito. Shocking. I'm shocked. Yeah. <clears throat> Shock and right. awe here. Uh, ruled in Shovel County versus Holder that, quote, things have changed dramatically, end quote, in the South in the nearly 50 years since the Voting Act's right was signed in 1965. <clears throat> um, well, on, th on that note, the only reason that the Justice Department is able to support the NAACP's lawsuit in North Carolina is because what they're doing is totally legal under state law, but under federal law, it's illegal. That's the only reason that they're able to try to put a stop to it. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> now, but not under the Voting Rights Act. You know, it. this is, um, what was, yeah. What this reminds would, me of the whole what... uh, states' rights versus federal rights fight that keeps mm -hmm. going back and forth. That was part of it. That's constant. When that was recently being done, constant. that was that was definitely part of the whole uh, discussion. Civil War? <laughs> I was about to say that whole war in the 1860s. That one. Oh, that yeah. little thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah. President Obama mentioned the purges while campaigning in the state on Wednesday. Obama told the uh, told the story of 100 year old Grace Bell H Hardison, black woman whom Republican activists attempted to purge from the voter rolls. "Quote: If you don't vote," he told supporters, "then you've done." done the work of those who would suppress your vote without them even having to lift a finger. Mm -hmm. So uh, vote, people. Uh, vote. Vote, vote. Do the thing. Don't vote twice, Most though, because that's uh, that's something that you're not allowed to do. Uh, even I'm though the only person that's done it so far. There have been two. Two people that Ooh. have tried. Yes, and they've both been Trump supporters, and they were egged on to do so, which has now prompted <clears throat> a... Um, Let's see, where is it? I know I had it here. Yes, there it is. Um, our Mother Jones, judge issues restraining order against Trump campaign to prevent voter intimidation. Weird. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so in a surprise ruling, a U.S. district judge in Ohio issued a restraining order against Donald Trump's campaign to prevent anyone working on the campaign from harassing and intimidating voters at the polls on Tuesday. 
I thought that was already illegal. Because yeah. there's supposed to be a campaign-free zone around mm -hmm. a voting place. Uh-huh. <clears throat> However, if we go back to the first story there with the Arkansas Republican, who's standing in the doorway, preventing people from coming in. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, well, you know, I, I read a little bit further. Uh, Sofer, who made headlines earlier this year when he brandished a gun during a meeting of the Jefferson County Elections Committee, applied to be a poll watcher on October 18th, and according to the attorney representing Victor Johnson, interfered with and intimidated voters at the jo Jefferson County Courthouse on October 24th. Quote, Mr. Sofer stood in a doorway at, of the early voting location and told voters to shut up and go home, said attorney Chris Burks. This is deeply troubling to the voters of Jefferson County and <laughs> also to the election administrators whose job it is to administer the elections free and fr uh, free and free of fear and intimidation. Yeah. How, how, I don't know. I, I don't get it. A county sheriff offered, ordered the man with Sofer to leave, but Sofer, claiming credentials as a poll watcher, blocked the door leading to voting booths and shouted at the gathered voters to shut up. Um, quote, as a result of the disruption and confusion caused by Stu Stofer and other Republicans, I was not able to cast my ballot that day, said Victor Johnson in the lawsuit. Yeah. So he wasn't right. he was not required to leave because he was a poll worker. Nice. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go. No, GTFO. <laughs> yeah. Just... It's like I'm sorry. That's still illegal. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh I think the police would have been in their rights to arrest him at that time. Exactly. They really should have. Um again quoting the article. I mean Sofer's actions are in violation of Arkansas Code Annotated 74109, which prevents election commissioners from engaging in partisan activity. Burke said uh, when Sofer challenges voters as he did last Monday or prevents them from voting or forces them to vote a provisional ballot, he is in effect acting as a partisan benefiting certain campaigns. Well, that's putting it mildly. So if so. I understand correctly, the sheriff just kind of didn't do anything in response to this? That's what I'm getting. Like, basically, uh, he was what? just, he was allowed to do it since he worked at the poll, he was a known entity, and they just kind of let him go. Well, I mean, the there's like a, a U.S. Sheriff's Association of some sort that has basically come out fully in support of Donald Trump. Well, what I was going to say mm -hmm. is, try to imagine, if you will, uh, <laughs> that a black man was doing this on behalf of or who was a Hillary supporter. He, he'd been shot. Yeah. <laughs> Within less than two seconds of oh, him rolling up shot? on it. Because that's how you get shot. He would have been hogtied, yeah. tased, and pepper sprayed and thrown in the back of a van. And, and then where he death. mysteriously died later. And then mysteriously died later of uh, mm -hmm. natural causes. Yeah. Because everything that I've said has happened. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. You know. Uh, oh, Arkansas uh, Republican Party Chairman Doyle Webb dismissed the suit as unnecessary. Uh, so oh. far resigned from his position as a poll watcher in the wake of the incident. <laughs> oh, poor oh. guy. Weird. Sad well, story. Again. Sad story, bro. Shut up and go home. Never. Polls closed. <laughs> Remember, guys, get out there. Vote. Not just for president. Mm -hmm. Love of the gods. Vote for everything else, too. Because that is actually more important. Yeah. And, yeah. And you know, if if somebody's blocking you from casting your vote, they are committing a crime. Mm -hmm. And you are allowed to contact the FBI, it's really easy to find the number, for voter intimidation, and they will deal with it. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a big deal. How frustrating, though. <clears throat> you know, we tell people that, you know, contact the, well, in this case, it was the FBI, but, like, contact the police. And in the case of Arkansas, somebody did, and the police showed up and were like, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, but I also don't expect local cops necessarily to know federal laws that well. Uh, to be honest. You know, most of them do a really damn good job, but when it comes to, 
you know, they might know local statutes, but not the, the federal ones. So they might not think it's that big of a deal or there's any real pushback that they can do or need to do on it versus you get somebody like an FBI agent, they're going to know, okay, this is, hopefully they will also, they will actually take it seriously, but. <laughs> now, this is interesting. Um, apparently there is not a number, a hotline number for, you know, voting rights. Um Thanks to our friends out at Snopes, uh, they've been looking at this, and though the same phone number are listed on for both agencies, the FBI and the DOJ, they actually belong to the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division, which enforces the civil provisions of the federal laws that protect the right to vote, including the Voting Rights Act, the Uniformed and Overseas Citizens Absentee Voting Act, wow, that's a mouthful, and the National Voter Registration Act, the Help America Vote Act, and the Civil Rights Act. The FBI also investigates civil rights violations and forwards its findings to to the Justice Department. Another version, and then there's other versions of the images. Um, so it, it looks actually getting in touch with them might be kind of a hard thing to do, though. So it would not be a quick thing. I think the thing to do might just be to find a uniformed officer and say, I would like to vote and they're not letting me. And hope they do something. Yeah. yeah. And maybe then say, I don't know, call the news. Yeah, that might be, you might be better off doing that. Yeah. Or both. How mm -hmm. about both? Because Just shotgun it. That'd, all of the above. That'd be great fun. That'd be great fun. So let me put... Uh, I'll put a link out to that Snopes article also in our show notes. And our show notes are always available out at the website at oreillyradio.com. And this is, of course, show 131. There we go. Okay. So I think, uh, I don't know, do, do, we have any, do we have any predictions? We probably ought to do that since this is, this is right before the election. You know, we're, we're going to okay. talk about other things in the other, other show segments. But uh, just to wrap this one up, what do, what do you think? What are your predictions here? I predict that Hillary Clinton takes it, okay. but we're not going to see much headway on the House or Senate. Think those will remain as a pretty uh, much as they are. Yeah. yeah. Sadly, I can kind of agree Sadly. with the second part. I I do think Hillary's going to take it. Um, I it however think the percentage say it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. However, I think the percentage margin between her and Trump was probably going to be less than we would like it to be. Mm. And we're going to see, we're probably going to see some issues along the more extremist groups in this country because of that. Okay, well, we got to get, uh, we have to get to 270. Mm -hmm. So, well, two sixty nine would be uh, would be a draw. So we have to get to two seventy. So who? Um, how many? How many electoral votes passed? Do you think the winner will have? Closest to the pin, kind of thing here. I feel like it's going to be another uh, twenty twelve, where it's like three hundred plus electoral votes versus whatever's left. Wow, that high? Yeah. I feel like the media is, you know, the the media and all of this, they're basically aiming for a tight race and they want you riveted so that you're watching commercials. <laughs> That's really what they aim for in every election. So I feel like they're they're so skewing so, yeah. they're skewing what what reality is to facilitate a narrative that it's going to be super close. Cause remember 2012 was going to be super close. Not, it was not close. No. <laughs> it was, it was not close at all. I don't, I don't remember it being that close. Like it, it even supposed to be being that close. There, there were people out there that it, pretty much the entire right wing was sh just in shock and awe that Romney didn't win. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it doesn't fit their narrative. Because they're Precisely. winners. They're all winners, right? <laughs> I predict um, it's it's going to be uh, close. I don't think that uh, whoever wins is not going to get more than um, 
more than 15 over. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm getting going. It's 20, maybe, because I, as much as I want people to get there and vote, I still have to take into account standard voter apathy. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, as much as you see all this ground swelling support, all these Facebook posts, tweets, all these people screaming and yelling the it high heavens. Nothing. On election day, the Democrats tend to stay at home or yeah, I'm, something I'm comes gonna, up and they don't vote. I don't know why, but yeah. I'm going to dissent here and I'm going to say that Trump wins by a narrow margin <gasps> and the House and Senate oh, stay the same. Oh, you wound me to the quick. Actually, it's. I've possible. already got a plan for that, so I mean, <laughs> well, you're Is closer it to Canada. To, you're closer <laughs> to the Canadian <laughs> border. Like a ten-hour drive for me. Yeah, there you're, you go. You're pretty close there. Um, yeah, actually, probably less. Yeah, I I'm, I'm all for mass access to Canada. Let's go. <laughs> uh, the weather's the weather's uh, awfully chilly up there this time of year. Um, I got. I got my passport. Yeah, but you can get a parka for that. I mean, Trump is a much true. bigger problem. You can't, get, you can't get a parka for Trump. Yeah. Trump parka. No, no parkas for Trump. It'd be made in China anyway. Yeah. Trump apocalypse. So, yeah. Okay. Trump parka for parka. Trump apocalypse. Trump parka lips. Oh, wow. that's our brand. <laughs> the wow. store of nothing but parkas. Wow, it's so bad. I can't possibly use that anywhere. <laughs> no, no, that's that's not going to work. Um, Okay, so Amber, you, you think that Trump's gonna gonna narrowly win it? I do. Um, I think that the the whatever it's going to be, it's going to be close. I'm hoping that it's going to be Hillary, um, because otherwise, oh, yeah. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Like I, yeah. I'm hoping that I'm completely wrong. But I, you know, I, I don't think that I am. Hmm. Well, here in Florida. We're kind of jaded by these kind of things. <laughs> we really are. Yeah. You know, in, in um, Florida, work, you're, somebody... you're surrounded by so much red that it's hard to see that. We are, and yet we all idea also we also all my... have our pockets of of liberalism, and yeah. we don't know why everyone else is not like that. <laughs> you know, it's like these are facts. Why are you disputing facts with these feelings that you have? These fuzzy feelings. It's it's all wrong. Um, Okay. Mm-hmm. My work so. held a Halloween contest where people came in and dressed up. Mm-hmm. One guy came in dressed up as a hanging chad. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice callback. Nice callback yeah. in 2000 there. How about Florida? Uh, like, yeah. 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 Somebody, somebody dressed up as that. Yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was only 537 votes in Florida that, that pushed it over to require a recount. And then eventually it was decided by the, by the Supreme Court. And it wasn't even a decision by the Supreme Court. It was just a statement that they thought it should go that way. They just simply decided. And they phrased it in a way that it could never be used in any other arguments as something that, that they decided on. It's like the only court case that you're going to find. It's, uh, you know, Bush v. Gore 2000. Uh, it's, it's the only one that you're going to find where... You can't use that as a case against something else by the Supreme Court. It's it's they specifically built it so it could not be used as a precedent. Right. And it's the only <clears> time <throat> the Supreme Court's done that in its long history. So well, it's also one of the few times the Supreme or maybe the only time the Supreme Court's actually decided the uh the presidential election. So yeah. yeah. Thanks guys. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but Thanks five, for that. Five hundred and thirty seven. That's that's how many people it took. That's, yep. that's all. Had the full recount been done, it might have been ten or twenty thousand people more for Gore, but it was stopped. Well, yeah, I just remember like you know so. hearing stories, like you know a year, two years later, they were like you know yeah, going to the where the polling bit. things were held. And everything else, but there's boxes of Gore votes, yeah. like yeah, thousands of them. It's like, <laughs> yeah, guys. So the, yeah, well, as far, as far as voter uh, obstruction, you will be allowed to vote. You will place your vote. Everyone will get one vote. It's what happens after you place that vote. That's when the real mess is made. Because you've mm-hmm. you've done your thing. You've you've placed your vote. Now what are they going to do with that vote? Is mm-hmm. it going to end up in that box in the alley? 
just <laughs> never cal- never counted. Yeah, the aftermath is the yeah. fuckery that you need to be worried about. Exactly. And we saw a lot of that in the primaries where they were, you know, just doing a voice count. And I don't know. I heard something different than everyone else apparently did. Mm-hmm. At this so. point in my life, the Republicans talking about voter fraud are kind of like the the significant other that accuses you of cheating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's projection. <laughs> yeah. When when they're obviously out on the town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit of that. A little bit of that. So uh, hopefully the um, oh gosh, what what is this Stockholm syndrome that we're having here? Uh, you know, I, I feel very put upon this this whole election season. It just keeps going and going and going. It's torture. Uh, mm-hmm. The Stockholm syndrome is the is, is the, when you empathize with your captor. I kind like of the, I kind uh, of do because you know it's got to be done. You like know, the but, uh, the unfortunate individual who has been a pen pal of Trump for like ten years. <laughs> And got tossed out of his uh, rally and called a thug, but still believes in the man. <laughs> oh, geez. That's that's Stockholm syndrome right there, folks. Yeah. Again, things that have happened. Things that have happened. Okay. It's my fault for going to a Trump rally while black. I mean, pretty much. It's like you didn't notice. Really, Trump is all black. He's only doing this because he cares about the country. You know, he didn't really mean anything. Oh anything yeah. About. <sighs> yeah. Wasn't that a Dave that Chappelle sketch? Where he was he was the black man that was, you know, the white Oh, in the KKK? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But he was blind and he didn't know what he looked yeah, like. Yeah, he he didn't know that he was a He's a black, mm-hmm. yeah, black white man. supremacist. Yeah. So god. And he's apparently coming back and in, uh into the stage and he'll be uh he'll be hosting Saturday night live. I think this week. Nice. For the first time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. no, there's a lot of questions about why he, like, lost his mind. <laughs> yeah. Stress. I don't think we're going to get any answers to that, but I'm sure that it's still just as funny. Um, we're just going to forget it. Yeah, just let it go. Let it go. Comedians. Hollywood types. Problems. Eddie Murphy. Okay. No, Freddie, Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy, that's right. Okay, so that will conclude... This show, and uh, please, if you haven't voted already, go out and vote on Tuesday. It's your civic duty. It's the thing to do. Uh, I've already voted. Mm. Everybody? Mm. Everybody on my panel voted? No, I haven't nope. yet. You haven't voted yet? Okay. yet? okay. I'd like to week. walk there and go to the poll that I've been going to forever. So I will vote on the 8th. All right. Fair. All right. It's a tradition for me. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll okay. be, I, don't give, I don't care. Well, the nice thing is, it's simply... No lines, but I don't care if the line is wrapping eight miles away from it. I'll skip work for the day to vote because I, it's what I do. <laughs> right on, right on. So I hope everybody go, go skip work, get get it done, get it done. Vote, at least vote, please. Let's try I've, to make this a national yeah. holiday next time. Yes, yeah. that would be lovely. Let's do that. <laughs>